scattered in enigmatic patterns. The smell of garbage in the air nearing to a coffee shop mixed with cardamom and peppers and coffee and pie. My tears as they fell hit the snow making small indentations, memories of my misery. I heard from the back doors to bars sounds of amusement, laughing and singing and cheering. I peered in on one open door to see the commotion. There I looked from the, con the outside. I was not saved by Bacchus or by Christ. I was one of the forgotten ones. And in the shadows of the alleyways and concave doors I lurked. I preyed on the unsuspecting, on the would-be criminals, on the victims the vice of society. The rage and madness flowed deep within my veins, yearning for some kind of release, waiting. Glowing red eyes in the darkness of the mind, snarling, saliva dripping down into pools of piss and cheap liquor. What happens in the graveyards of the city? What happens when good men are sleeping? When all that is left are those struggling to survive, but killing themselves in the process. What happens on cold, wintry nights behind dumpsters below the sewer drains? There is an ancient evil that stirs, older than the white man, even than the red man. She waits. She calls out to us. She feeds us. She grows us at the pulpits of angry churches and at the bedrooms of lascivious whores. She grows in the hearts of the envious and greedy and the minds of the dispossessed. What does she wait for? I can feel her breath on my neck flowing down my spine. I can hear her like an angry, hungry wolf. She's ready, but yet she waits. I saw Shiva on the street outside of the alleyway heading home. I went towards the street and waited a few moments, pressed against the wall, watching the mist of my breath swirl upwards, panting heavily. I felt in my pocket where I'd put a skate knife earlier, my fingers feeling the serrated edge, pressed hard against it, but not hard enough to draw blood. Around the corner I went, Stand close to the street wall, but tucked down close to my eyes. The snow blowing around me, there was Shiva, about a half a block ahead, unaware in his own world, listening and content in everything. He didn't know what danger looked behind him. I ran across the street, trying to beat the red light and the Honda Civic that was creeping towards it. Then I waited, huddled underneath the stoplight, watching Shiva still. At the next corner, he stopped and turned back, but I had already moved out of the line of sight behind a bush. Did he see my breath rising in quick huffs? I peered around the corner. He was on the move again across the street, my hand still pressed against the blade of the knife. Across the street, around another corner, into an alley, back out. Closer now, closer still, almost within distance to him. Knife out, tension shivering through my legs and arms, ready to lurch. Shiva, came my girl's voice from across the street. I went back into the alley and watched. He lit up walked across the street and hugged a girl. I couldn't see who it was, she was. Not from this distance, but I didn't dare cross the street. I was panting, cold sweat trickled down my face. I looked down at the knife wobbling on my hand, in my hand. What would I have done with that? What was I planning on doing with that? I dropped it, I leaned back against the wall, hands on my knees. What was I doing? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Thank you very much.